both kind of surprise and amazement. So, because I right from the beginning, I thought it's probably not worth even putting my name forward because there are going to be so many brilliant scientists. That is it worth the effort of putting in an application? But um, my university convinced me to do so, and I can't believe I've got all the way to the podium of the marathon, if you like. So, uh, for me, it's great. It's recognition of some ideas I've been sort of germinating in my mind for the last 15 years and have really been working on hard over the last seven or eight years. Um, and so this actual paper that was awarded is actually sort of the final bit of lots of building blocks underneath. So, you know, no paper is kind of stands on its own. It's, it's built on other things. So about 25 different people that I collaborate with that are part of my research group, they've all made contributions in some way to this paper. Um, and for me, what I really like about the fact that our work was recognized is that it's really around working locally, but to deal with planetary scale problems. Because I really believe that although we have a planetary crisis, actually a lot of the action in dealing with that happens at the national and subnational scale. So organizations like the United Nations Convention on Climate Change can set the bigger framework, but unless everybody on the ground gets to work on doing things on the ground, that framework's just going to be empty. It's, it's not going to have any action in it. So I'm really pleased that we've shown that how working at smaller scales can really help with multiple environmental issues at the same time. Um, so I'm not going to buy a sports car, <laughs> even an electric sports car. No. Um, a couple of different things. So a lot of the people in our research group are what we call soft funded. They're dependent on research grants for their salaries. So I really would like to use some of this uh, award to create a almost like a, um, a, a research fund that can be there to underwrite their salaries in between times when maybe they are short of money. So to give people the, the next generation of researchers job security um, and enable them to be prepared to take risks in grant proposals because they know that there's a backstop. So often the risky grant proposals don't get funded and so um, giving people yeah that support is really, really useful. And then um, I'm really uh, keen on this idea of open, open data. So the methods and tools that we're using, I would like to scale and make open access and really take the work and not only improve it uh, sort of technically, but also spread it out so that anybody in Africa would have access to information that enables them to think about nature-based solutions and ecosystem restoration and how they can and use that data to really make to make the best decisions in their local context. The award ceremony was like um, I felt like I was at the Oscars <laughs> or at some other massive um, event um, and so I didn't quite feel like a rabbit in the headlights but I felt very um, it was a very unusual experience, but it was great to have. And I thought actually that the presentation that was done beforehand explaining the context was really, really brilliant. I wish I could record that and just give it to my students, and then I, would have, I wouldn't have to give two lectures. So <laughs> I hope that we can, I can use that in my lecturing, actually, or as a backup for my lecturing. So great, um, great ceremony. Um, yeah, I, I'm, yeah, and just humbled to have been part of it. Mm -hmm.